Hi, this is Jim Dvorak, and my teacher has asked me to parse a first aorist verb and to show why, from the morphology, I think it's a first aorist verb. So here we go. All right, to parse this verb, I need to look at several things, and I see several things right off the bat. First of all, I see out front here an augment. And so an augment is going to automatically tell me that it's either going to be an aorist tense form or an imperfect tense form. So I need to kind of keep going down the word to see what else I see. I see here in the middle the tense stem, the verb stem rather, and it looks like it's lale, which is going to be from laleo. And I then can draw a line here to separate this off. And I can explain the lengthening here of the stem vowel epsilon to eta because this is called an a a contract verb and it will lengthen before a tense formative. So that tells me that this is my tense formative. And my tense formative is a sigma and a sigma is going to tell me when I have an augment, an augment plus a sigma is going to tell me this is a first aorist verb. Then I go a little further and I got uh, I see here that I've got a connecting vowel. It's an epsilon connecting vowel. And then I also know this is going to be a movable nu, because I know my secondary personal endings for verbs. And I know this is going to be uh, a third person singular verb, because it has the epsilon connecting vowel, but no actual personal ending. It just has the movable nu. But I need to back up and get a little extra information here. So I know it's a first aorist. I need to know if it's active, middle, or passive and then I need to know if it's indicative mood, subjunctive mood, or some other mood. I know it's indicative mood because there's an augment, and augments only occur in the indicative mood. I know this is an active verb because I'm looking here at the secondary active endings. So this is a first aorist, active indicative, and I've already said it is a third person singular. And again, it is from the contract verb, la leo. And so the key indicators for me to know that this is a first aorist over against the second aorist is I've got an augment plus the sigma tense formative. Hopefully that short video has helped to explain how to recognize a first aorist verb and how to parse it.